I wanted to ask you, John, about the um, the flower boxes outside the Ram Museum. Right. Because we we spoke about it last week, hmm. and you you basically said you didn't didn't like the the flower hmm. arrangements. I did. I did. I did. Um, so I've been to have a look, and I've got a be- I've got a better idea, I think, of what's going on there. Mm. And there's a there's a couple of things that strike me. The the crossings just outside the museum uh, is supposed to be sort of no, no longer working. But I I think if you if you did have a a vision limitation, or you're in a wheelchair, you wouldn't necessarily realise. That was the case. No. No, it's not very good. Um, can you explain? There's little sort of bobbles in the in the in the pavement, sort of half round balls that stick up. Do you? you yeah, it's called you, it's called uh, blister coat pavement. So, do you notice them if you're in a chair, or do you, is that only if you're walking? No, you do notice them if you're in a chair. They're specifically actually put there for um, somebody that is totally blind with a long cane, so they know that they're coming up to a crossing because it's normally there when you are when you're at a crossing point. So it's 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 there. Um, it's mainly there for long cane users but yeah you do notice them if you're in a wheelchair they can be uh, a good aid for for blind slash um, severely visually impaired people so those are those are still there at this time even though the the well yeah the, they're not the, they're not going to remove them it is, well it's uh, not well that that would be one thing to ask about i think because hmm. That could be very misleading for somebody. Hmm. Yeah, it is misleading. I don't. I don't like. I don't rate what they've done at all. Um, I mean, for pe- for people who haven't been to Queen Street, the, essentially that that crossing in the centre of the stretch is uh, not to be used. No, I don't rate as what they, they've done as they've designed it. In fact, they've really irritated me by designing it that way. But John, you, from what you were saying last week, it was it was the it was the boxes. There's something about the boxes that has, the box, has got to you. The boxes have got to me because what they've done is they planted boxes right by where that crossing is. And if you were if it, if the crossing was working, you you can get down. Then you have to go in between those flower beds, and then you have to try and get and get enough momentum to get up. To get up the to get up the slope on the on the other side of the road, right? Because what what I've what I have noticed, I haven't I haven't videoed this because um, that would reflect you know un- unreasonably on particular people. But it's very noticeable <coughs> that people in you know pedestrians are crossing the road at all kinds of places in between the boxes. Yeah, yeah when, uh, the, when the traffic's not there, I really don't like but, it. And if anybody is listening who is in charge of that, I really don't like what you've done or what the organisation has done, meaning Devon County Council or ex City Council or whoever it is. Well I think it's I think it's Devon County Council. Well Devon County Council, if you're listening, I don't like what you've done. So if you've got any if you don't like what I'm saying, you wanna and you wanna have a chat with me about it, feel free to to look me up on the internet, on social media and we can have a chat about it. We're well, more than welcome um, to to you know send me an email or whatever, but I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to pretend that they're that they're okay when they're not. They're terrible. They're awful. They're horrible. Well, yeah, all right. We we we've we've made we've made that point, John. I will just say on on Twitter we're W E N O T N O. Yeah. So and, you, and also. Um, if you look for flower flower boxes oh. Queen Street, you'll find comments from last week yeah. on uh, on YouTube, mm. and al- and also um, we'll probably carry on about this on the on the World Show tomorrow. So we d- we can't have guests in the studio at the moment because um, of the the lockdown situation, but um, s- send us send us some MP3 or something if uh, Exeter City Council or Devon County Council. 
happen. Exeter City Council have have commented on YouTube, um, but m- their main comment is that it's actually a Devon County Council scheme. Right. But I would have, I would have thought people in Exeter have got maybe Exeter, views about it. Maybe Exeter City Council don't like it. I don't well, I don't know. know. I, we don't. Uh, we don't know that, John. I don't know what they think. No. We, um, but it, uh, I I I don't like it. I think it's. I think they could be quite hazardous. Well, yeah, I, I um, mean that that does seem to be, but may, maybe they they're going to they, if if they made it a long term scheme, they would remove all the current indications that are around the crossing they don't want used. Well, but yes. it still it still wouldn't make any things any different because if if the if most pedestrians are ignoring the crossings anyway and just working their way between the flower boxes, then people in in chairs are going to think that's what they should be doing, and then they'll find there's no pump access there's no um, no ramp sorry is what I should say yeah and they'll they'll realise yeah, it's it, just not it's awful absolutely terrible I don't like it um, but anyway we're going to play some music now and uh, we're going to play um, 